What's up guys, a in here, and this is like, I don't even know, like my fifth video blog so far. God, I've made all these in one day. I can't imagine if I just continue to do this, I'll have just a billion videos each day of me rambling and bitching about stuff. Excuse my language. I notice uh, a lot more kids are on this page now because of the 3DS coverage, and if I cuss, sorry, uh, I'm an adult. I'll try not to cuss, but also try not to watch my videos in front of parents, I guess. I don't know. It's kind of kind of weird because... When I'm covering a game that's for everybody, I do try not to cuss at all. But when I'm covering like a mature game, like you kids should know, you should be watching this anyway. I'm killing people, there's bloods and guts, so a little cussing wouldn't hurt, right? That's not what this is about. Whoa, 40 minutes about nothing. Okay, this is about amiibos, and in particularly, it's about Shovel Knight amiibos. Because I think the Shovel Knight amiibo has just opened a huge doorway for any indie developer on Nintendo platforms to make an amiibo, and I think that's terrible. Like, I already think there's enough amiibos out there that are just worthless. There's like 10 Marios, Gold Mario, Silver Mario, Fire Mario, Regular Mario, Dr. Mario, 30th Anniversary Mario, there's two of those. There's literally, at the top of my head, I counted uh, seven Marios. There's multiple Bowsers that don't look that great. The Animal Crossing lineup looks terrible. I only want Tom Nook, Kiki Slider, and maybe Elizabeth, but they put out so many amiibos that I feel are just it's like they're oversaturating it. And so now they're going to start putting out indie game amiibos. So now Shovel Knight goes, buy our toy and you can unlock multiplayer or you just can't play multiplayer. Screw our fans, go buy our toy or don't play. And that is just embarrassing to me. That is just money hog for toys. They see that amiibos sold 7 million amiibos and they're like, oh my god, we must get on that. And I think it has just opened the doorway to have tons of crappy amiibos that I just don't want. And I know what you guys are thinking, and it's what I'm thinking. I don't want it, don't buy it. But that's the thing, like, I like amiibos because they were like kind of rare and they'd exclusively be certain things. But now in a year from now, I just see like every Nintendo game having a couple amiibos for it, every indie game going out on their own and making amiibos. I just think it's going to ruin it, you know? It's going to like oversaturate it. There's going to be amiibo of everything. It's like, oh man, there's amiibo of every character. And it's just not going to be exclusive anymore. I don't know. It's just, the Shovel Knight amiibo kind of really scares me. I'm definitely not going to pick it up. It's still up for pre-order as of this video, but I don't know, man. It's just, it's just kind of freaking me out a little bit. And I don't think amiibos are going to be as cool as they are next year as they were this year. But we'll see. Maybe they will. I mean, at this point I have over like, well, I think I have like 15 amiibos now. And that's just my personal collection. I mean, I could sell them all for a couple hundred dollars, but I like them. Um, damn it. <laughs> so that's my opinion on the, the Shovel Knight's ami Amiibo. I just don't I don't like it. It kind of bothers me. I'd rather them come out with some, like... I had a list, top five Amiibos that should come out. And on that list, there was an, the NES version of Jason from Friday the 13th. And that'd be so cool to have something like that, something rare, something old school, something retro. Like my favorite amiibo, hold on, I'll show you. Is this one. Is the 30th edition Mario. I can see myself, oh my god. And he rocks. Like I love how he looks. I want to open him, but literally, he's the rarest of the new wave. There's only like seven of them at my local tours or us. I have a video on that too, the wave uh, five amiibo hunt. And there's only like seven of them. I should have got a couple of them to be honest, but. He seems to be one of the rare ones out there, and he's like my favorite one. I want to open them, but I don't want to open my Amiibos. That's another thing. I don't ever open my Amiibos because they're an investment. And the moment you open the investment, the money goes out the drain. If hard times come, I can sell every one of my Amiibos for 20 bucks a piece, and that's a few hundred dollars. You know what I mean? If I open them, it kills the value for them. So it's really difficult. I mean, I don't really want to open this Amiibo. It looks amazing, but it's not worth opening. You know what I mean? because it just lowered the value. But maybe I'll find another one for like 12 bucks somewhere and I will open that if I find another one. But we'll see. Rambling a lot here. This is about the Shovel Knight Amiibo. Let me know what you guys think about the Shovel Knight Amiibos in the comments and if it's good or bad, in your opinion, that indie developers are now making Amiibos. Let me know. We'll have a lot more opinion videos coming here on the other channel where dust can fly. So like and subscribe. Peace.